Hi everybody, Steffi here from The Makers. Welcome to the 2nd of May 2022 to our unboxing of the May subscription boxes and you can already see two projects here. One is the Little Owl, life-size Little Owl um, that comes in our Makers box and here of course is the Bee Queen Fairy which um, I'll bring her a bit closer to you so you can see her a little bit better um, which is in our Fairy Box subscription this month and then um, our surprise box which of course we don't reveal because it is a surprise is um, is themed street party so you're gonna get goodies in there that uh, hopefully will inspire you or remind you of street parties and um, if you're wondering why I'm lighting a candle well there are two reasons for one our makers boxes are five years old we have got um, we've we've done 60 projects of makers boxes which is um, quite an achievement so we're celebrating in style there will be a special surprise in the box for everybody who will get the, um, the uh, makers box this month so um, thank you if you have been subscribed for as many years as the box is old or maybe um, joined later but in any case we thank you for each and every box that you get from us thank you and the other reason is that um, sadly my um, dad who I ha was with last week in Germany has passed away last night so um, I thought a candle would be a nice gest gesture just to have here with me today and um, let's start with um, saying hello who's there um, it's a bank holiday here today in the UK and of course you can um, re-watch this particular live stream I'm just uh, trying to remember it Alicia's just told me a minute ago um, on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. on our Facebook page which is um, at themakers.co.uk so if you want to watch this again live with us then you can do this on our Facebook page and um, I'm going to say hello now to Karen hi Karen um, Diane Penny, Vampire Venom, um, Alison, Melanie, Sylvia, Ashley, Awkward Prawn, Jane, um, Angela. Oh, Angela says she lost her felting mojo recently, recently, so she's hoping the adorable little owl will get her back on track before the summer retreat. Oh, I'm sure the owl is just is so easy to do. You 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 will want to make the little owl. Um, another Alison here, um, Geo, Geo 02031, not sure we've had you before, but hello anyway. Um, Carol is there, um, Alison, is that another Alison? No, that's the same Alison. Um, Rose is there, Serena, hi Serena, I haven't seen you in ages, nice to see you here. Um, Dillis is there, um, you're just in time Dillis, don't worry. Jackie is here, um, uh, Pauline, I'm trying to remember all the people I've mentioned already, um, Penny is there, Fiona, and um, that's it, yes, so I'm, I am keeping myself busy today, I know that some people need to be away from everything and I actually have been um, creating this morning, I need to needle felt, that's what I need to do um, to uh, keep my, my hands busy and my mind empty, that's what I always say, so it's a bit of mindless crafting which um, um, I, it works for me, I don't know if it works for anybody else but it works for me and um, that um, many tears have been shed, um, many things have been said we have laughed, we have cried together, um, we've held hands, we have spent time together, we've been close and, and all the rest of it, um, including with all my family, my, my very close family. I've got five siblings and I'm the oldest, so it feels like everything's been done that needed to be done and um, the inevitable has happened. So, right, talking about the boxes now, um, Let's start with what shall we start? Let's start with a surprise box for a change. We 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 never start with that really. Oh gosh, there falls over a bee fairy. She's just, just gonna be moved out of the way. You can still probably see her, but um maybe not in her full glory. And the owl um is also there, just looking over the edge of the screen. Right. Um oh that's the maker's box, surprise box. So we have got street party. 
Um, obviously, there are um, reasons why we thought of straight party, um, because the Queen's Jubilee is coming up. If you're already fed up with all of this um, uh, Jubilee talk and it's on the radio and it will be um, even more, um, then you can use it for something else, obviously. But um, we, we are excited for, for the contents of the box and street parties, anybody can have them for whatever reason. I'm going to show you, um, no, I can't show you this in the overview book, um, view. I have to do it secretly just like this. So opening the box up, um, we have always got um, a newsletter in our box. Oh, can't do it too much because you can see this. Maybe I can rest it on the owl there. Um, our newsletter, um, what's new this month? Maybe I can tell you this. Um, the newsletter is in all of our subscription boxes and you get it in our um, in any order that you're um, buying from us. Uh, that reminds me, make use, if you're, if you're watching today live, make use of the reduced minimum order for free postage. It will only last today. Tomorrow we're going to take that off. But we have got another promotion coming tomorrow. And um, so you can get, um, you can order anything today, 2nd of May 2022. You can order um, anything and if it's 25 or over, then you get free postage in the UK, I may add. And if um, the promotion that is starting tomorrow is where you buy two things and you get um, one item free and it only applies to wools and tools. So um, it's basically the, the um, cheapest item is free, buy two, get one free, and it only applies to wools and tools starting tomorrow. Um, we will give you some more details on that, of course. So what's new? Um, we have got our uh, Kingfisher kit with legs is, is, um, is new. We're still, um, and I will just show you this on the screen as well, because do get your needle felt, um, needle felted party mouse kit. Um, we're supporting the polycystic kidney disease charity, and it would be great if you could um, support them too by buying your kit directly from them. And then, you can uh, come and join a Facebook um, live stream on their on their Facebook page, which um, you will get you will get the link sent to, um, or it's a group rather that they set up. So come and join me on the seventeenth, no, eighteenth of May. It's from seven until eight thirty to make the mouse, so we can ma make the mouse together. But before that, you need to get your kit from the um, from the charity direct. Um, so that's still going on. We have seen lots of Jubilee mice, so that's great. Maybe the Jubilee mice and the party mouse can have a party together. Um, and and also what is happening, whatever is happening in this box, you can um, sort out too. Right, let's have a look. So we have got, um, how many fibres are in there today? One um, this month, one, two, three, four fibres. Four fibres of which um, one, two are brand new. We've never had them. One is um, a favorite. Well, they're both favorites. I love them, actually. They're great. We've got a bit of a twist in there, a little surprise, something completely new that um, you probably have never um, never made before. And, um, and then we've got something else in there that um, potentially ties in with one of our um, last um, live streams. So, yeah, I don't want to give too much away, but that, that's basically it. And then there is a freebie in there as well, something completely unrelated to anything, but there is another freebie in there for you to, um, yeah, to enjoy all the, all the party things that might be happening for you in your life over the next few weeks, relating or unrelated to the Queen's Jubilee. And that's in our surprise box. Remember, it's a box full, stuffed full of fibre. And um, also, I should just say that we don't tie you in a contract. You can skip boxes anytime. You can cancel your subscription anytime. You can change the date you get it. Um, and of course, we're always very grateful that also, even in, in tougher financial times, you're staying with us. Thank you so much. Really, really um, grateful. Right, that was the surprise box. It's always a little bit, um, I always find it a bit disappointing because I can't tell you more. But let's look at our fairy box, which um, is the Queen Bee Fairy. She's um, she's a little plump fairy, which I love about her. She has got a little a golden metal crown. Um, 
um, sorry, this this bit that's sticking out there is actually I've, I've poked a needle in the in her, in into her. She hasn't got a sting at all when you make her. Um, and then the wings are made from Angelina fiber, and of course she's going to be one of our live streams in uh, May the seventeenth. So you can um, you can you can watch watch her being made basically or make her along if you get the box or maybe this is um, the time to get the box so let's have a look at the box um, here it is it comes in a large letter box as always and as always I've got to cut um, the um, the bit open here because it gets stuffed so full that we um, um, if I don't do that it just pops open so I'm gonna have to do that I think is that enough come on open no, not yet. Sorry, should have done that before, but then I would have had an open box that was popping as we speak. Here we go. So the first page that you um, get in our box here is uh, is actually um, our newsletter. And um, the queen bee, as the mother of all bees in the hive, we say she's quite important. This is why we've given her beautiful glistening Angelina fiber wings and her very own gold crown. It is also World Bee Day on the 20th, so this queen bee could not be more ideal as the creation for this month's fairy. And um, then we tell you what's coming up next month, and next month is a sitting down fairy. We've never done a sitting down fairy before, but this is our ladybird fairy, and um, she's super cute with a smiley face with rosy cheeks, and you can even make tiny little ladybirds to go with her as well. And then we've got the Moon Fairy in July, and um, um, we we in fact let's just show you all the upcoming um, sub boxes so you have a um, a clue what's happening over the next three months. So in June we've got the Badger Cups, and yes, it's in plural because you're going to make two. The Ladybird Fairy, as I've just shown you, and then the surprise box um, theme is How Does Your Garden Grow. In July, we've got um, the dolphin in the maker's box, the moon fairy in the fairy box, and the coastal paths theme in the surprise box. And then in August, we're going to make a giant tiger moth. It is the year of the tiger in the Chinese um, terms, so um, a giant tiger moth might be quite fun to make. We have got uh, the fairy boxes, fairy circle fairies which means, again, it's in the plural, you're going to make more than one. And um, in fact, you're going to make more than two, put potentially more than three. So it's a bumper pack of a fairy box. And then the theme for the surprise box in August is busy bees. Um, I will just say that the August fairy um, box, um, we're going to have a go at making smaller scale fairies. Um, so basically, that's the fairy box we are opening right now. So I'm going to go back to the overviews. Um, theme. Instructions as usual, hope you like our new style and our new font, it's quite easy to read. And then in your box this month you get, well let's pick the crown first of all, a little metal crown, it's quite heavy, so um, and quite a, a pretty pattern, it's got little hearts in there, I don't know if you can see that. I really love this little crown, I think we should keep them um, in permanently in our stock. But it's a new crown that you haven't had before, you have got some lanolin rich core wool, you've got your flesh pink um, fiber, you've got um, this is the um, French country sheep uh, tops for the stripes and of course you need stripes in orange. Then you've got a special um, fiber here which is a soya bean um, a soya bean top which is perfect for the hair, it's got this lovely golden golden honey color. You get um, wool to make the mouth, which um, you will, won't use all of that. You also get um, your Angelina fiber in there, which is um, a golden um, shade of Angelina fiber. You get your one felting needle, you get a little wire which you are going to turn into the antennae yourself, so that's there as well. And you get your eco wool mat and of course all underneath all of this is the wire to make um, the body for um, the fairy itself. The um, instructions have got, let's see, they have got the template for the wings on the back there 
as well. So you, um, it tells you exactly how to do them and you should end up with exactly the same style wings that I have made for you here. Right, that is basically the contents of the fairy for May, the Queen Bee Fairy. Um, and if you're into bees, you love this one, no doubt. But, of course, we're still following the whole royal theme as well. So if you um, want to make the connection to um, um, our queen here in the UK, then you can do that too. And I've just, as I've just been to, um, I've just been to Germany and uh, the, um, the um, head of the hospice there, he was a very a lovely guy. And, and in fact, my dad, for one whole day, he only spoke in English, which was very strange because um, I didn't know he could speak that, that um, well English but um, the coming back to the guy from the hospice um, on on my way I, I said to, goodbye to him and I thanked him it was the most beautiful place I I can I could have imagined for my father to spend his last few days um, he, uh, they were so nice they allowed um, his cat to visit and they even had a horse there for somebody else and there's a dog that lives in the hospice that goes around and says hello to everybody which was uh, it was just really lovely but the, the the guy who runs the hospice he speaks English too and and on on my way out he, he shouted he says say hello to Lizzie and I didn't know what he was talking about because I've got a sister called Izzy so I thought maybe he meant my sister and then it, the, it dawned that he meant um Queen Elizabeth, of course, so I can't say hello to her directly, but it's nice that he, he said that. So anyway, here we go. That is the fairy box. I want to put it back on the easel, but it keeps popping open. So I think I'm just going to leave it um, tacked away. And let's have a look at, um, at what people are up to and what they're saying. Um, oh, dear, awkward prawn. Um, oh, no. Oh, I hope you, some of you might have a butterfly and... and um, and moss phobia so I'm really sorry that um, the box won't be for you but maybe you could change to another um, subscription box that month um, oh Penny says she ordered her mouse today um, I think the Jubilee mouse I've seen some amazing versions and um, and and they all look different which is is really nice um, so do we have a preview of the budget coming next month um, only in photos which I'm going to show you in a minute I have I've, I've made him um, or them I should say but they're not here with me um, so everything's a little bit in the wrong place at the moment because I haven't been around but I can show you a photo let's do that here on um, right, when I open the makers box right here we go I can show you that in its full glory so here is the uh, newsletter again that um, you've already seen I've read bits out of instructions for the little owl i'm going to keep them out because i'm going to show you a technique and there is the little badger um cup one of them and uh, he's curled up and you can see his little uh, pink paws he's he's going to be in a nest like that with another brother or sister so they're um and they have got um eyes so they're they they're not sleeping they've got open eyes so you can have them um displayed as if they're playing with each other the little budget is about that size oh, where's the camera there about that size I would say so the inside of that what you can see now in here and so you're going to make two of those and um, I think I think they're really cute and there there's no wire in them for change it's all needle felted um all needle felted shapes that you um, attach to each other right the Little Owl in this month's make, we've included everything you need to create your very own life-size posable little owl, complete with fluffy feathers, beady eyes and even realistic silk clay claws. It's a well-known fact that little owls love to hide. Where, you where will you find him hiding? Show us on our Facebook group, Everyone a Maker. It would be lovely to see lots of photos in the outdoors. They often hide in um, stone walls um, or similar and... Um, and as we're celebrating our fifth anniversary for our Makers Box subscription this month, we've treated you all to a £5 discount voucher to show our appreciation of support. So there you go. That's special this month in our um, anniversary, five, fifth anniversary box. You get £5 to spend at your leisure um, in, um, on, in our shop. And of course, as you are a subscriber or any of our subscriptions, you get um, you have May um, the, the sub club savings as well. And this month we have included the blue face Leicester curls, 
basic core wool, florist tape, pipe cleaners, aluminium wire and hand dyed teas water curls. And the reason why we've included all of those is because all of these products are made in Britain. So we thought we'll treat you to something that we know they're made in the UK. Um, so where we buy it from UK suppliers and they're also manufactured in the UK, whether it, it's the wool that's grown or whether things that are actually produced, um, such as the florist tape and the tea and the pipe cleaners and the aluminium wire. Right. OK, what you get in your box is a bag full of wool. And um, I'm, do I need any out of this? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, but you are getting quite a lot in there. I'm just going to pull it all out. So you have got um, a big a big bulk of lanolin rich core which uh, you will need for um, the body of the owl then you have got um, three types of brown these are to be mixed to make that mottled effect of the um, colors uh, feathery coat together with um, the white so the, the you use the white for mixing not this white this is only for core then you've got the yellow for the eyes and also the um, brown black um, you also get in there wire to make the legs and I'm going to keep that out because that's what I'm going to show you. Feet, I'm going to keep these out as well because I'm also going to show you that. You get um, some silk clay in a little pot and of course you get the glue in eyes um, to fit inside the yellow a needle felted eye that you are making. So there is a twinkle in the eye just by using the glue in eyes and um, and that's everything you get in there. Now, what I, um, I'm gonna keep it all out. Let's keep it all out, close the box, put it on there, and then, there we go. Let's have a look what I'm going to show you. So the legs of the owl, I'll just hold them a little bit closer. Um, you will find that you go through a stage where the owl looks absolutely hilarious because little owls have actually if you if you look on at photos of little owls if you google them they have a tremendously long legs and sometimes they look like they're marching so these legs are actually fully posable and you can make them quite long if you want to so if you want these legs to look like the owl is marching which um, you could then you can pose the legs in that way or you can have them sort of more tucked under um, birds knees always go back rather than um, forward so it it looks a little bit comic the owl looks quite comical before you put his uh, feathery coat on so don't be um, alarmed uh, you can see on the pictures that that is the way that he looks or she looks you can um, and then for the for the body you uh, you basically just mix these wools you've got you make the wings separately and attach them um, and um, you have um, you have these little silk clay claws which is what I'm going to show you how you're going to prepare the legs and how you attach them to the owl and that is basically the technical part of our um, of our uh, subscription box which is how to make the legs in terms of attach the claws to the to the wire legs attach the wire and fasten the wire into the body and that's what I'm going to show you now Okay, so I have made a body earlier. This is basically um, just um, a big ball of um, wool that you wrap with um, around itself with a lanolin rich core wool. And it of course tells you in the instructions of how to do that. There we go. And um, so I'm basically at this stage at the moment here um, in terms of, of of the body. However, before you do all of this, you prepare the legs for the um, the owl because the silk clay needs to dry. And um, you, you've got your little silk clay ball in there. Now silk clay is air drying, so you can um, you don't have to put it in the oven and cook it or anything like this. You can just leave it to dry. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to have to make eight small pea-sized balls um, of about um, half a centimeter in diameter and um, so you could either sometimes it works best to sort of keep splitting this until you've got eight pieces so you're gonna make have to make them into eight pieces an 
and if you keep splitting them half into half, then you know that you've got um, equal amounts. I can't remember now which ones I haven't split. One, two, three, four, these two, eight, and eight. So I've made eight. Now these may be um, too big, but I, I think they're all right. So I'm just going to roll it in my hand. And I've got, um, it's it's probably more so, um, it's, it's a larger pea, but that's fine. And then you've got your legs here. And the reason why you're only doing eight as um, six at the moment is because we're only attaching them to these little toes. We're not attaching them to the wire that's holding the legs together. This wire stays connected until quite later on. So you just need to make sure that you bend and you can do that. You can bend the toes apart. You can bend the legs a little bit. So you've got more um, space to work on. And then you're going to use that one ball, fit it onto your um, um, the end of the foot and the important thing is that you are letting the the silk clay go along the wire so at this point if you feel this is too much because we're, we're always trying to be generous then just take a little bit off and um, so the idea is that the foot the claw obviously sort of ends where the foot ends and you can shape it and that you have got wire going along the foot because we're going to wrap that with wool later and that is an extra security. So I've made one claw here now, as you can see. And then um, continue along. Now, if you know that you've already taken some off, you might want to take some off for the other one. Um, make sure the claws are the same size, even if you have slightly less going back on the le on the on the on the toe, just make sure the claws are the right size and obviously keep, like I said, you can bend the legs apart, the feet even, the toes even, <laughs> and um, work your way from one toe all across the other toes. And once you've done this, once you've ha you have all of the toes on there, all of the claws on there, then you are going to um, leave it to dry. What I do is often I place it on a, a, a source of heat, such as a radiator or maybe you've got nice weather, just put it outside, anywhere where you feel it dries faster than normal. You don't have to put this, um, Don't, in fact, don't put it in the oven because the cover of the legs, the white cover of the bird legs, it will melt. It's not, it's just, a, it's more of a plastic cover rather than a, um, yeah, it is paint basically. So don't put that, don't put it in the oven. We don't want it to go really, really hot. Um, so just, just let it dry. If you haven't got any, anything that you can use, then just allow it to dry naturally. So I'm um, adding all these clothes. You can go much smaller if you want to, if you want to make the size smaller. It doesn't have to be covered so far back, as long as you've got a little bit where you can um, wrap the wool around it, because a lot of these clothes will be obviously covered with uh, wool. And I think you've got plenty of silk clay, the point I'm trying to make. So you need to keep at least two little balls um, for later, but you will have loads of silk clay left, which is always nice to have some extra in the stash. So you could actually maybe take some off on some of these. And um, as long as you keep it nice and safe in a airproof um, pot, like the one that you've got here, you'll be absolutely fine. It will not go hard or dry out. If it does feel a little bit stiffer, you can add a bit of water to it. It is water-based, hence it dries out in the air, but you don't have to do that um, if it's still nice and pliable, nice and soft. Right, that's my um, foot um, with the claws at the moment. Most of these black covers will be covered up. And look, I've still got probably half of the silk clay, which I'm going to put back in the pot. And So there you go. That's um, it's hard to see the sideway view of the claw because they're sort of covering each other up. But you can um, obviously make them sort of slightly go down. Can you see that? So they're slightly curved and definitely pointy. At the moment, I wouldn't mess with them too much. Just let them dry. So don't worry if the legs are um, if they've been bent a little bit too much. 
so this is this is I don't know if you can see the side low view because it's so well it, they're so on top of each other I'll tell you what I do is let's have a look here there how is that you can see that better now so you can see that they're pointy um, and um, and they're just sort of slipped up slip them along the feet I'm going to put this to one side now to dry um, even though it probably won't get dry um, don't worry if one of the toes is sticking up like I can see here now you can bend them into place later on don't do it now because you're just going to mess up the um, the silk clay right the next thing you're going to do is you've got that um, aluminium wire which is a two millimeter aluminium wire and um, as you know We've got tape measure here on the left hand side of our instructions. So what I need you to do now is you need to bend in one end by 10.5 centimeters. I'm going to measure that against the, um, it's very soft. I don't think you need um, wire cutters at this point. You will need them later to uh, cut the, um, the connection of the feet, but that is only much later. And then about six centimeters along again, so here that should make an open rectangle so you have um you have the two bits coming up which are the legs and then this part here which will sit inside the bird and i'm going to show you that now how you're going to do that so you've made your body now and now you're going to cut into the base so it's it looks like this at the moment you're going to cut into the base a slit um I think I've covered my scissors up there, which needs to be um, about three centimeters deep. So don't be afraid to cut into it. You need quite sharp scissors, which I have. Cut into it. Obviously, you needle felted that body um, quite well, so it's not. It it doesn't. It, I mean, even with a lanolin rich wool, it will sort of stick together quite well. So you're cutting into. The base so it pops open a little bit because you've got this this cavity here now there and now you're going in to you're going to insert that into here so it's right in there and i want you to add lots of glue into it as well um oh the infamous glue of course i didn't bring it here squirt lots of glue inside um because um uh, i'm going to get it just look at the bird as it's standing there at the moment and I'm going to get the glue. It's worth it's worth showing you what I mean by lots. So I'm just going to get a glue bottle, which um, I used earlier because I was making another mouse, another special edition mouse for the summer. But I'm not going to tell you what that is yet. We're going to get you lots of mice, a nice collection of mice doing all kinds of things. So glue, when I mean lots of glue, I do mean lots of glue. Squirt it in there. Um, this is just part of how of how um, the legs are going to be fastened in. Get it all in there. Give the um, legs a bit of a jiggle so it kind of fastens on properly. There. Now the glue is in there, the legs are in there. The glue will um, dry in time, but what you're going to do is you're going to take a strand of your leftover lanolin rich core wool and you're going to close this gap up by going all the way around like this tight so you're going to wrap this up so you've glued it but you're also now trapping it even further into it and then you're going to needle felt that down with your felting needle remember there's a wire inside now um, I don't think it matters that if you're stabbing into the glue um, because that's quite deep in there and I think the, the needle sort of gets cle cleaned as soon as you pull it out again so now you've got your legs established inside the owl and um, the next thing that happens which I'm not going to make because um, I just want to concentrate on the legs, but the next thing that happens is that you would be making the eyes. Um, and that, that's a good thing um, because that will take a little bit of time to let the glue dry inside the legs and um, to also allow the legs, the silk clay still to dry. 
but this is so you've got two wires sticking out of your owl now which is where we're basically at um, and you're also going to make the head which I'm not going to make um, so these stages here where you are making the head and um, and then you're preparing for the eyes you're putting the eyes in I am not making that now because I want to concentrate on the legs um, so at the point we're going to pick up here on page um, on page four is where you basically are going to attach the legs now the, the legs the feet I should say to the legs and uh, I'm going to show you how to do that now my silk gray clay legs are not dry yet so I just need to say that, that the, the claws are not dry so I'm going to be extra careful but what you're going to do is and I should also say that you've got lots of templates on the back of the instructions so you have um, you've got um, starting at the beginning maybe you've got your basic body shape here so this is the wire that we've just put inside this is the round shape we're not making the head the shape changes because you're making the face flatter you're putting a cover over it that's the leg sticking out there's the eyes um, that you need and then um, you've got the template here on the back for the wings as well this is by the way way all of this is a wing um, it's the wing template this is not a robin okay just clarifying that we're not doing robins this is not the whole bird this is just the wing right so let's get the legs attached let's get back to the page where that is and what you're going to do is you bending in the wire by about two centimeters so it's you're making a hook basically of the wire so so I've now got I've now bent the wires in and now I'm going to hook you have to decide which way around your owl is going to look you're going to hook the wire um, the two centimeter wire so that um, you might have to to either twist the legs or um, the feet a little bit closer together so that you are going to hook this and let me just get this right I need to um, this will hook onto the feet behind the toes so you're going to hook this behind the toes as you can see so I've hooked it uh, behind the toes and then you're going to have to pinch it shut I'm trying to do this without destroying my claws you might be able to pinch it shut with your fingers first a little bit <laughs> and there if it if it's too hard to do with your fingers it is very soft wire that aluminium wire you should be able to do that so pinch it shut both sides so that now you've attached the feet to your bird so you can see that they're now attached and now you're going to twist um, the um, do you twist it around it um, no you don't twist it around because you won't be able to so you've got the two wires uh, running past parallel each other this is this is the thing with needle felting there are just so many ways of doing it that even though I've done I've done this now uh, several times um, you it changes uh, it can be done differently but what I have done is I have added glue to the wire because you now have to cover the legs first with white wool and I'm going to add a little bit of glue onto the leg here just need to let it run down it um, has a mind of its own I've not I've not been standing it so that the glue run down okay here we go put some glue onto the wire here I'm gonna turn it upside down now so I can have it at the ready next time and now you're going to add this is a little bit um, of a messy affair especially if your claws like mine are not dry yet but you're going to have to wrap the wool around the legs so that the two wires are now secured um, against each other with a lanolin rich core wool and you're also having to go around the base of the foot so you're um, you need to make sure that you've got the base covered too and then you're going up the leg all the way up the leg pull it nice and tight with every wrap 
Um, I've got slightly gluey fingers, but that's okay. And go all the way up the leg. So whilst the legs are fastened in, they're still jiggling. And the way to stop that now is that um, you're going all the way up to the leg. And then at the final bit where you get to the body part, and wrap it round and you're going to felt this into the body the end of the wool that you've wrapped around the legs you felt this into the body which will stop the legs from um, from from swiveling back and forth and that's how you're going to do that so you've got um, kind of a bit of a skinny leg there at the moment you're going to repeat that on the other side so tease off a strand of the lanolin rich like that, add the glue, first of all, make sure the two wires are nice side by side, add the glue, there. and then establish the wool, well that wasn't a bit there, that one, establish the wool around the legs, so it might get a bit messy here. So you pull it tight every time, wrap it flat like a ribbon and go uh, um, around the foot part here as well. So you need to go through here as well. And then up the leg. If you've run out of wool, just add more um, because you do need to have that um, connection taking place between the leg and the um, body and um, and remember to wrap in the same direction you did uh, uh, before if you add a new strand over the top it makes it easier um, because you're not unwrapping anything underneath so go all the way around we're going to build up the upper leg a little bit in a minute anyway so don't worry if it looks a little bit skinny um, Bear with me, I just realised that I need to do something. Yeah, oh, okay. Sorry, just had to lean across the camera. Here we go. So now you have got um, your owl feet attached. Um, you're going to have to add a little bit more bulk to the upper legs here. And um, the owl will look quite funny at this point because the owl that you're making has a head already and eyes. Mine doesn't because I've skipped that bit just to show you how to attach the legs. So make sure that you get that uh, the legs connected to the body by um, felting the wool from the leg into the body to stop the legs from swiveling. The glue inside will help that um, too because that's still drying that glue. It hasn't, it hasn't, it's still wet in there. So the legs you build one leg up and then the other leg, which I haven't done. Um, and then your owl, when you will be making us, will, that will look like this. It will have the eyes in and it has the head, obviously, the body, whereas mine, all, all you can see right now is that part and then the legs attached. And that is the preparation. And that's all you need to know right now of your um, little owl. And um, you will be bending the legs later on into the position once they are dry and um, obviously you'll be working on the body um, some more so that um, by the end of it it will be it will be that one trust me it does it's a it's quite an easy way of making the legs um, for 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 the little owl or other birds if you um, fancy doing anything else and that's basically how to do the legs okay so let's have a little read what else other people are talking about um, and then we're gonna finish the unboxing today and I hope you can all join me tomorrow um, when I will be making the little um, hedgehogs which are actually featured in the uh, Making Needle Felted Animals book and they look like that little, little curled up um, hoglet. We will we'll be starting that um, tomorrow, so I hope you can join me for that live stream. If you've got the book, then you um, know exactly what you need, but otherwise it is in the description of our, um, our um, advanced notice of the tutorial. 
Right, um, oh, lots of you have joined. It's so nice to see you all here. Give us the thumbs up. Um, it is a special box this month, especially the Makers box. It is our fifth anniversary. I cannot believe we've done this for five years. I think we're probably the longest um, subscription box for felting for felting items, for felted needle felted items. Um, since then, many, many other people have copied um, that idea. But um, I think I think it's fair to say we were the first and I hope that we haven't disappointed any of you in all the years that we've been doing it. Um, we've certainly always put our heart and soul into coming up with um, unique ideas and um, projects and we've tried as much as we can to put our, keep our prices as low as possible, making the benefit, um, giving you the benefit back of, of the number of subscriptions. I will be honest, our subscriptions have fluctuated high, low, high, low depending on what goes on in people's lives sometimes it's the projects that um, um, appeal more to some people than to others we, we can't always please everybody um, as as in life in general so apologies if the project doesn't appeal to you but I'm hoping very much that the little owl will capture your heart as it has indeed mine and um, many others already um, and he is a great great project to pose in the outdoors so I can't wait to see your photos um, Oh yes, um, Ashley says the uh, shape reminds her of Winnie the Pooh. Um, oh, Diane says me and silk clay don't get on well. You'll be fine, Diane. Just make sure it dries. Um, it doesn't have to be um, a piece of art. The claws are actually, when, when you look at them close up, they're actually sort of covered mostly with wool and only a little bit is sticking out. So you can see that they don't need to be that perfect. I'm sure that you um, can manage it. Um, it is hard to tell what size to make the feet until the body is made. No, because the feet um, are ready-made and the claws are literally just a little bit that sticks out from on, on the end of the, of, the, of the foot. You don't have to make them. They're not um, extension of the foot. Um, they are literally, they end pretty much where the, where the foot ends. So everything's already pre-sized for you in a way. And the wire that um, you get in there is exactly the right size. The, and you bend it in exactly the way that it says in the instructions. And then you um, attach it to the feet. So you don't have to measure anything um, with regards to the feet themselves because they're, they're ready made for you. Um, that's the whole point. It is a really simple way of making the feet. Um, and Alicia said that here in the chat as well. Um, Love the owl, says Donna. Hi, Donna. Um, looks fun to make. Um, is the glue pen refillable? Actually, it is, to be honest, um, because you can, sometimes you have to open it to um, um, to sort of, you know, if it gets all stuck up, like I've made this very messy. So you can open the top and you can put uh, glue back in again yes it is refillable absolutely so you could uh, buy different glue and fill it up again um good idea make sure you get good quality pva glue you don't want the runny stuff it really um it really doesn't um it it dries eventually but it takes a long time to dry so get good quality glue we have got we sell bottles of uh, glue as well if you want to refill it into the smaller pen um yeah, you could make sh ma um, wrap the two um, wires together, but to be honest, you're doing that with the lanolin rich core. So you're just basically adding a similar step in front of that. But if you find that easier, go for it. As I say, there are many ways um, of how to how to get to the same result. I can only give you one suggestion, and it I have tried and errored it many times. Um, Uh, and um, what else is there that I need to... I can see a turkey or chicken ready for the oven. <laughs> yes, it is a bit like that. It's quite a, um, it's quite a, a comical um, creature at that point. But if it makes you laugh, hey, we've done another thing that makes you laugh. That's um, what we're all about. Giving you a giggle um, seems to be a good idea. Um, yes been with you for most of the journey and every box has been different. Thank you, Diane. I know you are a very faithful um, maker's uh, customer. So thank you. Um, thank you for that. Um, I think, oh yes, I should also say thank you for reminding me. I've completely forgotten about this. The free um, tutorial on the back of our newsletter this month in May 
is how to make the sunflower field. Um, we are selling these um, packs, they're packs where you get the, the little hoop, uh, the flexi hoop in there, you get all the materials, several colors of shades of yellow, green and blue to make um, the sunflower. Um, um, you can either make a single sunflower or you can make a field, but the single sunflower is a live uh, is, is here um, as a free tutorial on the back of our newsletter, but also on our website. So you can go in there. But if you want to help us support the Ukraine, then this is basically where you can um, what you can make from the pack, one or the other design. And um, we are donating five pounds of each kit. To the charity and we have already sold over 50. I don't know what the current count is having been away for a week but um, we will make sure that this money goes to the goes to the charity and it is um, the um, oh gosh can I ever remember it um, I think it's the I don't know I can't remember what DEC stands for I can never remember it but there is something in there that is disaster and emergency and then I don't know what the C is or maybe it's something like that but anyway it is for human humanitarian help for the Ukraine I promise you it is a legitimate a charity you can google it um, what else might I have to tell you so the next live streams um, I did tell you about that didn't I yes um, the um, summer retreat I have no idea how many spaces we've got left I haven't checked in but in any case, if you want to make a Viking with us or a large um, standing figure, he measures about half a meter, so 50 centimeters. I have no idea what that is in inches, but 30 centimeters is 12 inches. So add, um, add maybe another, I don't know, maybe he's something like, is he something like 16 inches, something like that? 12 plus 6 is 18, maybe 16, 17 inches tall if you need to know that in centimeters, in inches even. Um, and um, the tents are up. I, I went away for a week and now the tents are up. So I shall be doing a little live stream and giving you an idea what to expect from these tents. They are not clumping tents. I will tell you that now. Um, ooh, well, um, okay. Um, Alicia says I can show you a Zoom slide. I could if I had to put it in my um, thingy. But anyway, Alicia, she does Zooms for all of the for the surprise and the makers boxes. And um, I'm really sorry that I haven't downloaded that uh, thumbnail. I just totally forgot. Uh, you can find those Zoom links on our Everyone a Makeup uh, group as well. Um, if you haven't joined yet, come and join Everyone a Maker. Um, it is a group solely for um, the promotion and uh, sharing of makers products. So please don't share anything else. Um, we don't we don't want you to do that basically, but we are very happy if you want to come and share what you have been making from our products or any of our ideas, um, wools and so on. Remember, as of tomorrow, we've got a special promotion on wools and tools, a buy two, get a third free. Good time to stock up, great opportunity for beginners to, um, to get their basic um, supplies in. You can never have too much wool and you can never have too many uh, needles. Maybe this is a time where you thought, oh, I always wanted to buy this or that, the other tool. Now is your time to do it. Um, we love our clover tools. We love the three needle felting tools. Um, the earth mat is included. Um, all tools that you need to needle felt are all included. And then of course, all of our wools and fibers as well. So buy two, get one free as of tomorrow, 3rd of May. If you're watching this on Wednesday, then um, you you can already rush and um, get it all, or maybe you've done it already. That's all from me today. Um, I just want to thank you all again for um, not just supporting the makers, but also me personally over the last week. It's been quite a tough time. Um, I'm sitting here smiling because I've done all the crying um, and there might be some more in the tank, but at the moment I've, I've dried up and um, all of you who have lost a loved one will know what um, what what um, it means to go through this. It's quite a lot of processing. So I'm going to do this, but I'm doing it whilst I'm stabbing a needle because there's nothing better than to stab a needle into wool whilst you just, I don't know, just while you just be, you just, you just do a bit of being rather than um, rushing around and uh, doing all kinds of other things. Hopefully you've got a lovely bank holiday Monday today and on Wednesday, um, if you're watching this again, you've had a good start to the week. And I will love you and leave you now. So take care, everybody. Um, 
lots of love and subscribe to our boxes, subscribe to this channel and uh, share the love of needle felting with us. Bye!